And this would be the best you can do? Hi, Bear. What's new? Nothing. Since I'm forced to stare at the sink, hope I'll be luckier in the new house. Do you want me to give you your happy pills? How many times do I have to tell you that I don't need them? Besides, I have my duck. She makes me feel good. How do you feel about this move? I hope I don't end up in a bathroom in front of another dripping sink, or I'll go completely crazy. You better find a way to get out of this house and into that van. What are you waiting for? Did you see Ronald? If you mean naked, yes. Every single day. And it's not a pretty sight. Come on, Bear. You know very well what I meant. Early this morning. Usual time. He was a little down in the dumps. I mean, more than ever. But nothing particularly suspicious. Have you had any other hallucinations since the last time? Luckily not, Mr. Hunter. Bear, I'm skinny. I'm just messing with you. You're the little wuss without a backbone. I would argue that claim. Now I have to go, Bear. I guess so. Is there anybody down there? Did you have a heavy meal? Sometimes I'd like to be on the other side of the screen to make you do foolish things. Have you seen, boss? I opened the door. Bravo, well done. But now let's go, it's lunchtime. I like eating. Then come on, move. What a blow. Maybe pulling out some high voltage wires would not be the best idea you've ever had. But alas, not the worst either. Uh. Uh, hi. Hi, little bag of bones. Please don't eat me. As skinny as you are, you wouldn't even be useful for chicken stock. Hey, excuse me if I care about my figure. You don't look too good. How are you? I have an unbearable pain in my tooth. Mm, something must be stuck in it. Would you like to take a look at it? Oh, fine. Th that's okay. Oh. There's something in there indeed, but I don't think I can remove it with my bare hands. I'm sure you're a really nice guy at heart, right? Actually, I just escaped from a maximum security prison for reptiles. I was locked up because I slit the throats of my neighbors with a fishbone. They were too loud, and I couldn't sleep. I promise I will never do anything to upset you. I'm just messing with you, stupid bag of bones. You're not funny at all. See you around. I'm afraid flossing wouldn't be enough.
let's move on and accept it's just part of the scenery. Once again, physics is against me. I'd say it speaks for itself. This timed parking thing has turned into a real scourge. To do that, I would need a crowbar and a good lawyer. Please, give me just one second. I just realized this is the first time I've been out of the house since I died. Okay, I think I can manage. Let's go. It seems pretty battered. Lost 38 special during a daring getaway by car. A sizable reward in cash and an annual free pizza at Pizzeria Luigi is being offered. If found, drop in and ask for Don Vito. An offer you can't refuse. I love pizza! It must be a slot machine gas station. I believe it's largely beyond my physical means. I don't feel like rummaging through the dumpster. Some spaghetti, leftover chicken, a cereal box, and a couple empty liquor bottles. This one has it all! A huge sleeping guy stands in my way. I don't know why, but I'm having the strangest case of deja vu. Disappeared in the night, an old Neptunian alien. A reward of 5,000 quid is offered for any information that leads us to his safe recovery. Call 00 Solar 8 554011. Peace and prosperity. The appeal of construction sites knows no interplanetary limits, it seems. I don't think I can wake him up. And I don't want anyone to see me in this outfit, anyway. When will you stop with such foolishness? I don't feel like rummaging through the dumpster. I don't feel like rummaging through the dumpster. Let's get a move on, don't laze around. When we were at war, we dug He seems a little anxious to me. Dogs and bones aren't the best combination. It would be better to leave it alone. Hey, that Even his blindness never gets him down. Hammer. Sorry, sir, can I bother you for a second? Don't you see? I'm really busy right now, boy. Are you blind? Tell me this is a joke. What are you doing exactly? I'm working, unlike all those incompetent slackers. But you are blind. Not at all. I can see perfectly. I don't need anyone's help. Which number am I making with my fingers? Four. 
Okay, at least now we know we're not dealing with one more fake cripple. You really have strange taste when it comes to clothing. Brown and black are absolutely classic, boy. Timeless. But actually, you... You young people today don't understand a thing. Go back to your hipster flaps and pursue a living in bad taste. Your tenacity is very impressive. So, do you ever stop? We need someone who keeps everybody up. I can't afford to rest. It's hard work. Someone has to do it. And when, for example, you need to go to the toilet? I always carry my traveling catheter for emergencies. I really need to go. Well, uh, see you around, boy. If you have a gangster past, maybe now's the time to mention it. If you have a gangster past, maybe now's the time to mention it. Clockwise! Come on, let's get a move on! Don't laze around! State-of-the-art technology, no doubt about it. We dug the pits with our bare hands! I really hope you never miss finding it in your Christmas stocking. Where is my flying broomstick now? That's a banana! That a it's a hard life now that everyone pushes renewable energy. And I fought for years in the Union for people like you. Back in my day, the screws were tightened clockwise. Come on, let's Look at them, on. with those little bloodthirsty killer eyes. Sure wouldn't want them to leave some memento on me. We dug the pits with our bare hands. It won't work. Hey, Let's leave them to their intimacy. Hammer. And I fought for years in the union. You've just defined a new standard for the word stupidity. I don't Back follow. In my day, the screws were tightened clockwise. Come on, let's get a move on. Don't laze around. When we were at war, we dug the pits with our bare hands. The T-Rex Cowboy, undisputed ruler of the very Wild West until the end of the Cretaceous period. It would have been interesting to ask him how he managed to extract his revolver from the holster. It would look great in the living room, but I don't have the muscles I used to. And this is why we complain about youth unemployment. Nice place you have here. Were you and Tutankhamun relatives? No, it's because I see a strong resemblance. Maybe it's the nose. I could have sworn it, you know that? Did you have an accident with the cat? You must have really driven it mad to need all those bandages. I got it. You're a Tibetan monk under a vow of silence. 
Damn it, I was sure I was right this time. Were you one of the Queen's guards? You won't confirm or deny it, I understand. Has anyone ever told you you're really good at listening? Seriously, don't be so modest. I would stay and chat with you for hours, but I wouldn't presume to impose upon your time. Cock-a-doodle, don't! You'll never know what I hide under my inventory. Never. It seems to me that it's done its job all too well until now. Judging from all the dust and the boyish look of the barman, I'm betting this has seen better days. It would look great in the living room, but I don't have the muscles I used to. Now I understand the electricity bills with all the zeros at the end. A little too heavy, don't you think? There's still some gas in it if one day you ever decide to follow in the footsteps of my grandpa. My grandpa worked in a factory welding vehicle body parts. I remember that on his deathbed, and completely blind already, he mistook the blowtorch tube for my grandma's arm. May he rest in peace. There's something unhealthy about asking me to do this. Wrong turn. That's where that door led. And for all these years, nobody ever bothered to force it. He seems to be a bit short on energy. Hi, little robot. C1 is not programmed to talk. But you just did it. C1 is not programmed to explain itself. What if I took out your batteries? Would you still be in the mood to show such attitude? C1 is programmed to run on solar energy. Don't provoke me, or I'll hit you with a hammer. You're looking worse for wear. C1 isn't tired. C1 is running data. Why don't you turn tail in the meantime? If those two catch you, you'll end up in a box, you know that? C1 is not programmed to do it. Are you telling me you can't do two things at the same time? C1 hasn't got the updated firmware. Right, everybody says that. Beep, beep, bzz, bzz, beep, beep. C1 finds this really insulting. C1 has had it up to his valves with you. Come on, don't be so salty. Don't forget we applied for a Peggy 3 rating. Be careful what you say. What about the three laws of robotics? C1 thinks you've seen too many sci-fi movies. C1 could easily pierce your skull with a laser beam and use it as a bowling ball if he wanted to. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the clarification. Good luck with your calculations. As unbelievable as this sounds, Ronald's father bought it years ago in anticipation of his own funeral. He found it on sale at a mortuary fair. He won't be happy at all when he finds out those morons have damaged it. Get me a freight elevator and I won't let you down. Maybe it's anti-aesthetic, but it's certainly effective. I don't want to end up like those who were here before me. I don't see how it could be useful to me. Unless you're a fly.
It's the old alarm clock Ronald used when he was a small child. Didn't think he still had it. It's a hard life for hitchhikers. I really have to ask you this. Looking for a lift to the Ninth Underworld? Zeno has always been an introverted guy, but I consider him a dear friend. I rarely saw him not holding a novel. Never seen such a passion for books. Surely someone could give a good cleaning around here once in a while. It's a big computer brain able to monitor all the household appliances to prevent domestic accidents. He was gunned down by a barrage of point-blank peas, and they say vegetables are good for your health. A couple of pots, some ladles, and jars with spices of dubious geographical origin. How did this get in here? When we were kids, Ronald and I played rock stars. Me on the pots, him on the pans. We were such a disaster. Mm, I never tasted anything so delicious. Kaboom cereal, an explosion of energy in your stomach. Literally. Not worth it. A little souvenir from Easter Island. We had some trouble at customs, but it was worth it. <sighs> the trophy of a fishing trip. An unequal contest <sighs> won with firecrackers and nail guns. Undoubtedly, this is the manliest thing Ronald's father has ever done. Legend has it that when Ronald's father is able to pull it out from the floor, it'll finally be him wearing the pants in the family. Actually, it would be useless anyway, but he doesn't know that. Nobody can get it out, as it seems to be stuck in the plumbing of the town's water supply. The mayor has even declared it a criminal offense just to attempt to force it out. Are you familiar with Superman and Kryptonite? Right, that's nothing compared to my allergic anaphylactic shock. The trophy of a fishing trip. An unequal contest won with firecrackers and nail guns. Undoubtedly, this is the manliest thing Ronald's father has ever done. Don't deprive Ronald's father of this little happy memory. He already has to put up with his wife every single day. Not while that massive plum blocks the door. Not to mention the movers. I almost forgot about them.
And this would be the best you can do? Why should I? Come on, let's get a move on. Everyone has a good plan, which will not work. When we were at war, we dug the pits with our bare your hands. Stop for a second. I want you to reflect on what you just Come asked on, me to let's do. Get a move on. Don't laze around. When we were at war, we dug the pits with our bare hands. Hey. That's a banana, not a hammer! And I fought for years in the Union for people like you! Computer, update. The situation is under control, sir. There are no circumstances that could jeopardize the bystander's safety or the correct operation of home devices. Well done, soldier. At ease. Computer, deactivate. Negative, sir. I can't disregard the duties for which I've been assembled, sir. Are you refusing to execute one of my orders, soldier? I'm sorry, sir. I can't do differently, sir. Computer, detailed work history. Two years, two months, and 21 days of duty, sir. Nine accidents, 24 household mishaps, five fires prevented, sir. And what about the time you almost killed the cat? You smoked some of the herbs in the living room, didn't you, soldier? I'm embarrassed for what happened, sir. Sorry again, sir. Computer, dismiss. I'd rather steer clear from that. Calling them post-its is an understatement. They're more like threatening messages that Ronald's mother leaves for her husband when she goes to work. Like, I don't know, let's see. No, this is too degrading. Better avoid. With this one, I think there might be grounds to sue. Okay, that's readable. Don't forget to pick up the clothes at the cleaners or you'll be the one hung out to dry. That's amore. When Ronald moved into this house, the forensic guys had just unsealed the kitchen. When the investigation was closed, his parents decided to leave the outline of the body on the table. I have to admit that it gives an extra kick to breakfast, though.
Cheers! I've already taken enough. And who the hell are you? Have some respect, stupid bony human! You're looking at the future conqueror of the world! <laughs> Only dumb characters in this game. Don't laugh, that goes for you too. Jumping Jiminy! Not me! I can't jump! I have no legs! And my name's not Jiminy! I meant, where did you come from? From under the hardwood floor. I was stuck there for years! But now I'm finally free and will have my revenge! <laughs> Who do you want to take revenge on? The world! I have nobody to take revenge on in particular, so I will take my vengeance out on the world! <laughs> Can't argue with that. Listen, not to curb your enthusiasm, but you look pretty harmless to me. What? I mean, you don't look blessed with any particular abilities, or of great intellect, or any intellect. You can't expect to get very far without a well-constructed plan. Ah, you're right. Think about it, okay? Who would be your nemesis? The Swiffer? I don't know any Swiffer. Forget it. I have to go. Bye. I found the solution to your problems, mainly because if I waited for him to solve it, I would have died another time first. What am I supposed to do? You just have to open your mouth and say, ah. Uh... Okay. I feel, I feel a great power in my hands. Wait a minute, I have hands! <laughs> Sounds more threatening already, right? Glad to have contributed to making the world a less safe place. How do you feel? Better than ever! I feel like I can break the whole world! <laughs> Just try to take it over, okay? Huh? Unfortunately, it seems we haven't made any progress regarding intelligence. Now you seem to be covered in muscles and not by dust anymore. <laughs> In my opinion, you're not so strong after all. What are you talking about? Don't you see I'm a beast? It doesn't seem that way to me. Test me then. Okay. In the room next door, there's a bed. I bet you won't be able to unscrew one of the knobs. 
It'll be child's play. Is this the knob? It's not a crystal ball, that's for sure. Uh, I don't get it. Yes, that's the one. It's up to me and you now, knob. I'm running out of ideas. <laughs>